Hey there YouTube, Travis here. And this is my leak down tester. I purchased this one a little while back. I'm doing some modifications to it today and I thought it'd be a nice opportunity to talk about what a leak down tester is and also to show it in action. So real quick, the combustion chamber of a two stroke engine basically operates in a vacuum. So if you have a leak between say your base gasket, your head gasket, your intake gasket, the crankshaft seals, uh, if you have a leak of air into the combustion chamber, it's going to give you kind of an erratic lean condition. It's going to make the bike run poorly. It's also going to make it really hard to tune if you're trying to tune the carburetor. And one of my most popular videos is how to check for air leaks with a can of carb cleaner. It's great if you've got a bike that's running already and you want to identify leaks in your top end. Uh, but how do you check for leaks on an engine that's not running? More importantly, how do you check for leaks on an engine that's on the bench that you freshly rebuilt or bought. And really, the carb cleaner test won't tell you anything about your crank seals either, because of course, the engine is running and you cannot reach the crank seals while the motor is running. And for those of us who are newer to the game, your crank seals are the seals that go on your crankshaft here, and there's also one in between the bearing and the lobe of the crank here. This is a E50 crank, which is in really, really good condition. So with a leak down tester, here's an example of two of them. Uh, I got these from a lot of parts that came out of a closed down moped and scooter shop. Um, they're vintage. Uh, the gauges themselves are failing. They actually are a source of a leak. Um, but just to show you, the idea here is instead of vacuum, we introduce a little bit of pressure, um, really no more than six. The internet loosely says eight PSI. Um, pressure into the case and you see if it holds it for about five minutes and if it does generally in moped world that's kind of considered good enough so if you want to buy a leak down tester uh, leak down testers like this aren't readily available uh, if you do some searching around you'll find something like this probably uh, this is like a leak down tester for like a four-stroke car engine um, you hook up your air compressor to it and, uh, you know, in my opinion, this is not really appropriate for two stroke small engines. Um, you can really, the gauge goes up to 100. You could potentially put a lot of air into something. Um, I think it's much better just to use a squeegee bulb uh, style leak down tester. And one final point of clarification here a leak down tester is different than a compression tester. Uh, this is my favorite type of compression tester, but you can buy a kit also that comes with lots of different adapters or even these old school ones that kind of push just on the top of the spark plug hole. You just kind of hold them there instead of a thread in. Um, but these are really useful for checking the top end health of your bike. It's not a tool used for checking seals and uh, gasket mating surfaces. Which brings us here. Um, this is a leak down tester I purchased off of a website. Um, I believe it's for Yamaha RD 350 and 400 uh, motorcycles. Again, that's another great two-stroke motorcycle example and another case where leak down testing is really important. Um, so this is a gauge that is uh, not in a standard PSI gauge, but uh, 280, 300 is right around six PSI. So when you max out this gauge, uh, you're getting just about uh, the limit of what you want to put into a motor. So the short version is, uh, this is a half inch PVC inlet, half inch PVC pipe, goes to a fitting that has uh, threads on it, which screws into this, which is really just uh, three quarter inch threads uh, to kind of a hose bar barb style thing that radiator hose pushes onto quite nicely. Uh, and then we have a hose clamp here to attach it to uh, again, piston port, and if you have a bike that has uh, reeds or a uh, type of carburetor that mounts to a flange, um, you would probably just take an adapter like this, bolt it on there, and then connect that to the hose. Um, it's worth mentioning that when you do a leak down test, um, you also have to block off the exhaust. Uh, again, every bike is different. Um, I've got some fittings here, which we'll just take a really quick look at. So I keep on hand just an assortment of types of rubber plugs. Um, you can get these at hardware stores that have a lot of selection. You can also get variety packs on Amazon and eBay if you want. Um, but different types of plugs like this uh, for plugging up exhausts, um, vacuum cap style plugs like this. Um, you can look at expanding plugs uh, like this. Um, I've had less success with these, kind of nice to keep on hand. But my favorite piece, 
is this is an old Pook stock header. Uh, this is my go-to uh, because I JB welded a spark plug onto the end of it. So this is a nice airtight seal. Okay, so where do the modifications come in? Uh, I think if you had a Yamaha RD style motorcycle, it'd be pretty easy to use this PVC connector um, to connect it to uh, the intake on one of those. Um, this isn't very moped friendly. Uh, what I'm going to do is I got some pieces from my local hardware store as well as some radiator hose. Um, I'm actually <laughs> gonna use some uh, PVC glue because I did a, an irrigation project at my house recently. Um, I'm going to glue a lot of this together for a mostly permanent setup uh, and then the end of the radiator hose will be what goes on the intake uh, of whatever bike you're going to leak down test. So if you're a longtime viewer of the channel you'll remember a few years ago I also built a leak down tester using a bicycle pump and a gauge from a plumbing supply store. Uh, I like the squeegee bulb and the more sensitive gauge to give you more control. Technically both work, but I think this is a much, much better design. Okay, so we've got our completed leak down tester. Uh, we've got our exhaust block off. Let's go ahead and test this out on some bikes. All right, so let's see this tester in action. Uh, this is a Pook Maxi that was actually part of a multi-bike uh, package we brought back from Idaho. Uh, this was a really crusty E50 that we rebuilt about two years ago now uh, and it runs uh, but I thought that because this is actually a stock build um, we'll take the pipe off we'll replace it with my stock pipe with spark plug JB welded into it uh, pop the bing off and then attach the rig. So the way you do a leak down test you grab our friend soapy water here uh, this is a friend for both installing moped tires on rims as well as testing for leaks. Um, we're going to go ahead and spray down different mating surfaces. So intake gasket, base gasket, head gasket, spark plug, and then down here at the exhaust. And so what we do is we go ahead and start pumping our gauge and it should hold. It shouldn't go all out like this. And if it does this, well, you just have to look for the bubbles. So where do we see bubbles? You see them there on the intake? Oh, a lot of bubbles down here at the exhaust. Okay, so after some fixes, new intake gasket, and then also a little bit of moto seal on here because one of the studs, uh, the threads are coming apart and uh, don't want to do some drastic fixes on a stock cylinder. It's not worth very much. So a little bit of moto seal fixed this leak. And then for the exhaust, um, just using this pipe uh, was still letting in a leak. So I cut up a piece of inner tube. Uh, rule number one of mopeds, the way to win is never throw anything away ever. And then another problem was the tool itself. I had used some uh, Teflon tape on the threads for the coupling portion of this contraption and that was causing a leak. So I went ahead and used the PVC primer and cement on that as well and now it's solid. The tricky part is that, well, I can pump this up but it still leaks out. So this is definitely better than it was. I'd say it probably takes about two to three minutes for this to completely uh, go back down to zero again. Up here is about six PSI on, on this gauge. Um, so this is closer. I think at this point I've hosed down every single junction on this tool, all the way from the squeezy bulb to that fitting, all the way back to the front. Um, and then every mating surface here that I can reach, so of course the spark plug, uh, the head gasket, the base gasket, the intake again, and I even sprayed the little spark plug here on the end, even though that JB Weld is solid. No bubbles that I can see. Uh, so the next step would be, well, you could test the stator side crank seal if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to right now. That's a, a suspect for a leak. You can't actually access the clutch side on an E50 because there's a bearing in the way. Um, so if you were very, very anal about this, you could probably justify doing a rebuild. I think for me, this is just a stock beat around bike. Um, this is obviously not ideal, but 
I'm okay with this for now. It's still really great to learn and be able to see what air leaks you can fix and then just see if you want to justify going any further. Okay, a Sax 505. This one was just rebuilt six months ago, so I have high hopes. We go ahead, plug up the exhaust, which has a nice protrusion. A rubber plug fits in there quite nicely. Uh, and then the uh, leak down tester goes on the intake, and here we go. The spark plug, the decomp, the base gasket, the intake gasket, the connection here all around and then the exhaust Ooh. spark plug okay and yeah it's not coming out very well on the camera here and here's the other leak which is actually not the exhaust plug it is the sleeve in between the bottom of the cylinder and this, this piece of metal right here. That actually has a, a leak too. So that is oh, quite unfortunate. So this is a second motor that is totally failing uh, the leak down test. But this is why you do them. All right, well, there you have it. Even though it's a little depressing, it is really good to know and, and understand uh, where you have air leaks. So. Uh, I will be doing a lot of leak down testing this weekend. We'll be checking pretty much every bike I have just to see how it does. Hopefully they do better than these last two. <laughs> All right there, YouTube. Until next time.